Hello guys and welcome back to another Seki Sweet video. Today I'm just going to bring you a quick video of my new tank, just a little unboxing and setup. I've already unboxed it, you can see it's already on the shelf. It's actually in a temporary position right now because of course I've got the other tank in the other room here. This tank's gonna this is where this 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 new tank's gonna go, but of course this tank's here and we can't really take it down until this tank is fully stripped and drained. So we're just putting the tank here for now. So basically this is a so this is a waterbox aquarium um, peninsula 25 it's kind of it's kind of like the tank that it's kind of like the flu revo 13.5 but you can see that it's way bigger and it's gonna have and of course it's water box instead of flu revo as you can see so instead of buying the cabinet with the aquarium because they're very expensive we've just gone the cheaper route and just got a a, a cabinet from Ikea. You can see I kind of like it how it is a bit bigger than the actual aquarium. I don't know what really I know I don't really know why I like it but I it looks like it's more on top of like a desk or something and these aquariums are are meant to be for you know for like desktops they're small easy and compact. Also you can see that this is a all-in-one tank so we will not be having any of the sump underneath. So it's going to be a big downgrade but I'm going to be running this aquarium probably without a skimmer so if you stay tuned for that. So if you want a nice budget reef tank here it is. I still do recommend the Food Revo but if you want to be looking for something a bit bigger than the Food Revo and if you're looking to spend a bit more money this aquarium is the perfect aquarium for you. I've just hired the ISO up for you guys so you can just so then you can just see what's inside right now so you can see the water goes through the grill or the surface skim like that and then this is where the filter sock will go because a filter sock comes with the aquarium I'll get to that in a minute and then this is the skimmer chamber if you want to put a skimmer in it or just you know the average media chamber this is where you can put your heater your bio your biomedia and all that good stuff then this is the return chamber so a pipe will just go out and through a nozzle into the aquarium here this aquarium like I said is the Peninsula Mini 25 so it's 25 gallons or 90 litres as it says on the box it does come with a few little goodies as you can see you can see it comes with this big starter pack which comes with carbon bio balls and bio sponge which all help in the filtration they're really really good for starting but all I'm going to do is just move the bibles from this aquarium down in the sump into this aquarium to speed up the process but these bibles they're, they're still really really good we've got of course the tube which will go in the return chamber the filter sock which will go here it's a yep, 225 micron filter sock so it's really good for, you know, for getting all of that good stuff in We've got this is the filter sock holder, which holds the filter sock. We've got the nozzles, which go on the end here. This will, you know, blast the water out. And finally, you've got the pump itself. Now, I'm going to keep the pump because I'm going to keep it all budget friendly. You can upgrade the pump if you would like, but I think the stock pump is um, fine enough. So you can see it's a pretty nice pump. Pretty big, pretty nice. This should be able to get a good turn over in the aquarium as I think anyway they wouldn't put a pump in here without without having good turnover for this aquarium I mean this pump is specially designed for this aquarium anyway so that's basically the water box aquarium sorry for this short video guys but it is getting late now and I just wanted to give you a quick tour and unboxing before the water goes in in the aquarium so thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and next week i'll be posting episode one of this aquarium adding the rockscape and the sand into the aquarium so i'll see you then guys goodbye for now.